Okay, Lindsay, you're up. Today I'm going to talk about Patty. Patty's best characteristics, she's stupid, stupid and ugly. Everything she does is ugly. Watch her eat, watch her stuff her face. Look at her, greasy hair, dirty fingernails. It makes me want to vomit. Her dad doesn't work, they have no money. That's why she wears that nasty pink sweater. Everyone hates her, even the teachers, and they're supposed to like everyone. Get a life, Patty. Thank you. I pray that nobody here knows this kind of pain, this pain of losing a child. I am totally convinced that this is the worst pain that a human being could ever encounter in a life, is to lose a child. You all are loved beyond belief. And he found out that her friends and her thought it would be funny for her to pretend to like him online and get him to share and say very personal stuff, which she copied and pasted into other IMs and sent them around for a good laugh at his expense. I can't imagine the pain, the humiliation he must have felt as he stood there and these girls laughed at him. <laughs> The group that we need to reach first and foremost is the bystanders. The group that stood there and laughed, that let this happen to begin with. The group that was too scared to step in and say, hey, this isn't right. I want every young person in this room that is not a bully and not bullied, but a bystander to make a commitment that from this point on, for the rest of your life, you're not gonna just stand by and laugh or let this happen. You, as a group, have the most power in this school to turn this school around and make it the best school that a young person could possibly ever go to. I can't stress enough to you guys, um, what a terrible mistake my son made. And I pray that any young person in this audience that feels the way Ryan felt, that you give life a chance. I promise you things work out in the long run. You haven't lived long enough to know that this is such a short period of your life. I promise you when you get up to 30, 40, 50, you look back, this is only two, three years out of your life Sure, it might have been a hellhole, but it's not forever. And things do get better if you give it a chance. And uh, I, just, I just hope that you guys have the courage to step forward and ask for help when you ever feel the way Ryan felt. Please don't ever forget Ryan's story and the fragility of adolescence. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.
when civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in 1968. Grief and frustration erupted in America's cities. And far away in Iowa, one third grade teacher knew she had to do something. The shooting of Martin Luther King could not just be talked about and explained away. There was no way to explain this to little third graders in Riceville, Iowa. I knew that it was time to deal with this in a concrete way, not just talk about it, because we had talked about racism since the first day of school. Week. Does anybody know what it is? National Brotherhood. Brotherhood. National Bro Brotherhood Week. What's brotherhood? Be kind to your brothers. Be, be kind okay, be kind friends. to your brothers. Yeah. Like you would like to be treated. Treat everyone the way you would like to be treated. Treat everyone as though he was your brother. brother. And is there anyone in this United States that we do not treat as our brothers? Yes. Who? Yeah. The, black the, black black the black people. Who else? In there? Absolutely, the Indians. And when you see, when many people see a black person or a yellow person or a red person, what do they think? Uh, oh, look at that. Stupid. Look at that. Dumb people. And look at the dumb people. What else do they think sometimes? What kinds of things do they say about black people? Oh, uh, they're negroes, niggers. In the city, many places in the United States, how are black people treated? How are Indians treated? How are people who are of a different color than we are treated? Like they, like like they are part of this place. world. They don't get anything in this world. Like Why is that? Because they're different color. You think you know how that would feel yeah. to be judged by the color of your skin? Yeah. I don't, do you think you do? Mm. No, I don't think you'd know how that felt unless you had been through it, would you? <laughs> it might be interesting to judge people today by the color of their eyes. Would you like to try this? Yeah! Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Since I'm the teacher and I have blue eyes, I think maybe the blue-eyed people should be on top the first day. I mean, the blue-eyed people are the better people in this room. Oh, yes, they are. Blue-eyed people are smarter than brown-eyed people. <laughs> My dad isn't that stupid. Uh, is your dad brown eyed? Yeah. One day you came to school and you told us that he kicked you. He did. Do you think a blue eyed father would kick his son? Yeah. My dad. My dad. Dad's dad's blue -eyed. My dad's blue eyed. He's never kicked me. Greg's dad is blue eyed. He's never kicked him. Rex's dad is blue eyed. He's never kicked him. This is a this is a fact. Blue eyed people are better than brown-eyed people. Are you brown-eyed or blue-eyed? Blue. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> are you sure that you're right? Why? What makes you so sure that you're right? I don't know. The blue-eyed people get five extra minutes of recess, while the brown-eyed people have to stay in. The brown-eyed people do not get to use the drinking fountain. You'll have to use the paper cups. You brown-eyed people are not to play with the blue-eyed people on the playground because you are not as good as blue-eyed people. Well, the brown-eyed people in this room today are going to wear collars so that we can tell from a distance what color your eyes are. On page... 127? 127. Is everyone ready? Everyone but Laurie. Ready, Laurie? Brown-eyed. She's a brown-eyed. You'll begin to notice today that we spend a great deal of time waiting for brown-eyed people. The yardstick's gone. Well, okay. I don't see the yardstick, do you? It's probably over there. Hey, Mrs. Lake, you better keep that on your desk so if the um, brown people, brown-eyed people get out of hand. Oh, you think if the brown-eyed people get out of hand, that would be the thing to use? Who goes first to lunch? Blue the blue-eyed people. No brown-eyed people go back for seconds. 
Blue-eyed people may go back for seconds. Brown-eyed people do not. Brown eyes. Don't you know? Mm. They're not smart. Is that the only reason? It might take too much. Oh. Okay, quietly.